what are your reasons for wanting to be part of Prompt Pact? Mm. Uh, when I when I I think it was just once I once I read the script and it uh it I guess it just hit me in a certain way. It was it was uh, it, it came to me. It just came to me. <laughs> there was just so much heart, and it was so evident in the script, and it was I just couldn't wipe the smile off my face the entire time reading it. And I'm a massive fan of films from the '80s, so to be able to take uh the core ideas from that and the uh the energy from that and kind of put it into a uh into a modern film and put our little spin on it was was an honor so yeah yeah i mean i remember reading the script for the first time and immediately feeling um very connected to mandy she reminds me a lot of you know myself and my friends and people i go to school with and you know i think all of the characters do i think they're all very kind of true representations of what growing up today looks like, um, which I think is so important and so refreshing. Um, and so I I knew I wanted to be a part of it from the first time I read it when when the idea came to me. Whoa. I just reached out. <laughs> Whoa. And it fell in my hand. So yeah. Amazing. Crazy how that happens. Love everybody. That's, that's love my you, point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just just, no worries. Just like no, a bit of mild it had life. several. It had several messages. One of my favorite about living life without anyone's approval, mm. but yeah. living doing what you want to do. That's especially important for for Graham in this film. Um, it's very easy to get bogged down with what people expect for you or what people think you should be. And I think um, it's just important to to be able to listen to yourself and really work out what you want for yourself, you know, because at the end of the day, it is your life. So people may have their opinions, but at the end of the day, they're just opinions. You know what you want for yourself and you got to go out there and get it. Yeah. I mean, I, I completely agree with that. I think the spirit of the film is sort of embracing individuality, you know, and, and finding who you are and, and the people that, that support you in that journey towards becoming your most authentic self. And I think it's very empowering to see that on screen. And I think it's important for young people to have those reminders. Um, so hopefully our film contributes to that, that notion and that, um, you know, just life philosophy of, of living for you. Now, Peyton, tell me you did get to keep that pink dress. I, do not have that pink dress. I, where am I going to wear that thing? I mean, in all honesty. I would wear I, it. I love it. That's so true. You should have worn it. You should wear it tomorrow. Do you think we could get Bonnie to send it right I now? might be wearing it for the premiere. We'll see. I think it would fit you. I think so I've slimmed down a little bit. I've been working out. Yeah. Slender? <laughs> so it's like an advance. <laughs> No, that's me in it. Oh, okay. That's so me. You're more of a... <laughs> I've got an hourglass speaker. <laughs> okay, well, after Blake, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, great. Great. Yeah, it's yours. You'll wear it tomorrow sure. and then it's all yours. Beautiful. Got it. I'll send someone over, okay? It's a little <laughs> bit difficult to breathe in. I'm just gonna just gonna let you know Great. now. Yeah. Right. That's, that's a good point, actually. My bad. Good point. Well, thank you guys. Congratulations with Compact. Thank, thank you, you very, so very much. much. You're welcome.